Attorneys have been arguing all afternoon about setting a deadline for filing claims against the Archdiocese of New Orleans, and that includes claims by victims of sexual abuse by priests. David Hammer continues to investigate priest abuse in our series Losing Faith. He has this report on today's court hearing. Bankruptcy Judge Meredith Grable has to decide when victims of sexual abuse by Catholic clergy must come forward to file a claim against the Archdiocese of New Orleans. Lawyers for the Archdiocese and attorneys for creditors argued Thursday about that deadline, known as a bar date. The church wanted January 29th, the claimants wanted March 31st. They also argued about how the Archdiocese should notify the public about the deadline. The church wants to take out newspaper ads and do some online advertising. The creditors say that they should have to do TV and radio ads also, arguing that the church is trying to do the bare minimum to save money. The Archdiocese reported over $100 million in assets, leading to claims the bankruptcy was filed in bad faith, mostly to stop evidence of abuse from coming out. We questioned Archbishop Greg Amond about that last month, but were stopped by his public relations consultant. Does the Archdiocese raise funds from donors to pay these abuse claims? No. As I've said in the past, it comes a lot from insurance, sometimes from investments if we have to, and we um, are able to, if we need to, to sell property that we're not using. So if insurance pays for it, why would you need to file? You said one or two more questions. We're now in like question number six. I think the other officials answered your question both times you asked it. So could we move on please? Judge Grabo is still considering the creditor's motion to dismiss the bankruptcy altogether. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Judge Grable set the deadline less than 20 minutes ago. She said she would split the baby between the two sides and set it for March 1st, 2021.